to me. Hey there, fellas. So what exactly happened here? Well, as is par for the course, a few days ago I was looking through the comments and the suggestion box. I was reading everything that came in and was getting some good laughs out of it. And in the end, I came to the conclusion that, well, it's cool and all that you keep calling us crazy, but some of the ideas we receive, man, they are fun as hell. Anyway, so... I guess this was something that we could have thought of, but well done, fellas, hats off to you. So one particular suggestion I liked was to stick this here thing into a tire. Now you can plainly tell that this is an airbag. I actually paid a visit to our neighbor's junkyard and fetched myself a whole bunch of these here German airbags, a whole bunch of different ones. Dashboard, pillar mounted, side impact. I've got a pretty impressive assortment. I suggest we start with something small and work our way up to the heavy hitters. Let's do this. So right here I've got a rather small 13-inch wheel. It had a tire tube, which I've removed. I did install a valve stem for a tubeless tire to slightly decrease the diameter of that orifice, so that the gases aren't that quick to escape. And now it's time to place that long airbag into our small 13-inch wheel, the side curtain module. That's what we'll be starting with. It should fit in here without issue, it being pliable enough for us to tie it around. We're gonna run a few wires through the valve stem, which shouldn't be a problem. There should be more than enough room to do that. And so now we quickly put it all together, and fit the wheel to a car. We're about to find out what happens to a car when a small tire like this one blows up. Alright, let's lock and load and go conduct a few tests. Detonating airbag modules inside wheels. Translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. We are ready. All right. Let's go install it and blow it up. It's as if I didn't get enough playtime as a kid with these explosions. All right, let's do this. Check this out, fellas. We fitted the wheel to this car. We've got the thin airbag module in there, which goes across the pillars, which we're about to detonate right inside that wheel. One, two, three. What happened in there? Oh, so it's that weak, huh? Couldn't even get the tire into place. The tire isn't even seated properly on the rim. This tells us that we need more firepower. Check this out, fellas. We've decided to go with a sort of sandwich. These side impact modules are pretty tiny, so we've stuck two of them together. Wouldn't want them to move around too much, which might lead to disconnected wires. They look right at home in there. As you can see, we've placed six of them in there. Three pairs. So six side impact modules in total. What do you guys think is going to happen? Pause the video and share your thoughts. Alright, so here's what we're dealing with. The wheel is in place, we've hooked everything up, and we've brought a couple of batteries out here with us to feed them 24 volts. The last time we did this sort of thing with a 12 volt power source, if you remember, we were using 12 volts, we also had a bunch of airbag modules, and those tend to run a fuse on the connector. You pull the plug out and the circuit closes. The point being that if it so happens that a spark occurs, like static electricity and whatnot, the airbag doesn't accidentally deploy. And so some of those modules have the connectors while others don't. Supposedly the fuses will be quick to burn out, and that's why we're feeding them 24 volts. Let's do this. One, two, three.
Wow, that actually gave me the chills. That was actually pretty rad. What happened over there? Oh wow, the airbags popped out. Where exactly did they rip themselves in exit? Even the plastic popped out. How did this happen? That's interesting. And here's another one. The entire thing evacuated. I thought these were inside. Did the wheel pop off on that side? Okay, now I get it. Here's how they made it out. They tore the wheel apart. Exactly what we were aiming for. See that? So six... Airbags, but they're tiny. I guess their combined volume must have been high. Plus that is an old tire. See what happened? And now? It doesn't want to hand it over. That could only mean that we're on the road to success. If six small ones were enough to rip through that 13-inch tire, we still have four big frontal airbags. The problem being that we ain't fitting four of those into a 13-inch wheel. We'll need to find something a bit larger. Perhaps a 16. Look at the wheels on that Odyssey. Aren't they nice? Okay, enough of that. We need a slightly larger wheel, which will be able to accommodate four frontal modules. Alright guys, we've found everything we need. There is one interesting thing I'd like to tell you about these airbags. These are from a W124 series Mercedes-Benz. You can see that there are two bags here. And two explosive charges. So we've got two of these double airbags. Plus we've got a couple from a BMW. We've also found this big tire to place them inside of. It's a 235-75 R15. We actually lifted this from our Volga. Unfortunately, you can't find anything this size for a Lada. And so now we'll wrap them just in case... in case of an emergency. Okay, we've mounted that wheel, we've routed the wiring. I will have to be sitting right here with the batteries. So right across. But at least I'll have a front row seat. One, two, three. There you have it. What is that it? Yeah, that just inflated it. Really? Holy cow. There is plenty of pressure in there, though. Yeah, let's bring her down. You can't even press it in. What's interesting is that a piece of the airbag is actually poking out through the orifice for the valve stem. But the tire actually held up. Can you imagine? This might be down to the sheer volume. A 13-inch wheel is pretty tiny. But here we've got a 15. Of a pretty substantial size. It's a thick profile. And wide as well. But then again, frontal airbags are also pretty huge. In any case, you can hear it hissing. But the pressure ain't going down. That's a good thing. Though if I'm being honest, I was hoping for something a bit more spectacular. Though we did see a somewhat big boom when that 13 was torn to pieces. Hey, check this out, fellas. The airbags did deploy, but the tire wasn't torn apart. And that's despite us using four gigantic front airbag modules. The tire kept it together. 
The thought occurred to us that perhaps some of them didn't detonate. We've separated the rim and tire. Okay, this one worked. And this one is even broken. Did this one even detonate? It's as if they didn't have enough space to fully unfold. But look at this. Burned through. That burn mark tells us it did fire. Here's the third one. They did work after all, but there simply wasn't enough room for them to work properly. Not that surprising, really. Same story with this one. It did fire, but it wasn't able to unfold. You see, it was in a tight space. We did have pretty high hopes for seeing them going off and ripping the tire apart, like what happened with that 13. But there we had six units, and they were smaller. If we were to stick 15 small ones in here... But we're out of airbags, though I do reckon that that would have gotten this tire. The larger ones simply didn't have enough room to unfold. The smaller ones did fully deploy, and even evacuated from inside the tire. And that does it for today's experiment. We've placed some airbags inside a few wheels, and we're looking at a 107% success rate. At the very least, we had fun. And so watch us, subscribe, send in those comments and suggestions, give us a big thumbs up, all right, catch you later.